survivors and welcome back on the Sons of the Forest channel! Yesterday we got our final trailer for Sons of the Forest. It is fully focused on multiplayer and gives us a first look at the armors, traps and more. At the beginning, we have a new look at the updated GPS tool that now is way different than the trailer 2 version. It shows exactly cave entrances, camp bases and also other players' position since the E dot is following the other guy. There are then some purple dots, probably points of interest, and a green writer dot, maybe for the principal task or the one we're following. We can also see how the GPS 2 will show both the day count and the clock so to be always updated on the ongoing journey. In the same sequence we have another look at mushrooms, probably fly agaric, that are poisonous, so don't eat them, trust me. We have also a brand new look at the inventory. Interesting to see how different it looks since the first image and it shared. We now have a better look at the feathers and a can opener, since there will be several types of cans from what we have seen so far. We have then a very interesting fighting sequence between the cannibals and four players plus Calvin. The NPC's animation look gorgeous. Here we see a cannibal with an angry and truthful expression on his face, a detail to not miss out, and later a cannibal throws himself to avoid an arrow and so sleeps on the wet ground. The trailer finally showed the new clothing mechanic and how it will be very variable. We can see bone and stealth armors on the same player, as in the forest, and a person fully covered in the creepy armor that will come back in Sons of the Forest with a creepier look. We can also find a person wearing a hat with arms? Maybe a real deer's head? That would be cruel but really exciting, this means that many animal heads could be used as hats, and this will scare off the enemies for sure. In the last sequence, we also have a first look at traps, able to be had a cannibal, maybe the new happy birthday trap, and more traps that are easily avoided by the mutants as well as cannibals. They can understand our games and beat us up once they figure out the rules, so eh, don't be too confident. The trailer also gives us a first look at what it looks like to be a stick rack, very different from the The Forest version, some defensive spikes that really don't do so much damage, and the zipline from the roof to the outside. And the last sequence... What do I have to say? They revealed the black gates from the forest will come back one more time and they can be opened by using our hand. More interesting is what we're wearing. It looks like a steel armor, and this could confirm my theory based on the iGEM preview of Sons of the Forest about the mining mechanic. I wouldn't be surprised, but still new armors made of steel could be extremely useful against the enemies. Guys, uh, that was amazing, we got finally the last trailer for Sons of the Forest, I'm still very very confused from what happened to my hairs, but okay, really, we're so close and soon we're going to experience Sons of the Forest by ourselves. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and consider subscribing, follow me on all the social media, especially now our Reddit community and Discord server on Instagram and Facebook, and always remember to survive the forest. Less than two days left, guys, to Sons of the Forest, so keep it up and let's go!